In the summer of 2022, Roblox would change forever. A little game you probably know called Doors was released, and with its massive critical acclaim, it would bring Roblox as a platform to the next level. With its unique and beautiful level design and highly replayable content, creators all over YouTube and many other platforms would generate content about this groundbreaking game. And as in human nature, when something great is discovered, it triggers a gold rush for those seeking to profit from this new trend. Numerous games including the less impressive Doors But Bad and Roblox Intermentable Rooms would explode in popularity, attracting millions of players. However, on September 11th, 2022, a developer named Zalalad, renowned for respectable games like Purgatory and Bully Some Monsters, would introduce a new game called Endless Doors. And as you can assume, it was everyone's favorite game, Doors, but with a massive twist, a never-ending twist. It was the perfect game for people craving a harder experience while staying loyal to the door's roots. Additionally, it added new and creative entities to the mix, drawing people in massively. However, if you look at the game today, that's not what you would guess. Nowadays, Endless Door struggles to maintain an active player base above 10 and holds a mediocre 68 positive ranking. So let me show you how we got there. Endless Doors, the game that could have been it all. It was the right game at the exact right time. I'm pretty sure I actually played Endless Doors the first day it came out. It was kind of like an overnight success if I remember. A viewer who goes by Demonic Jesse actually recommended me this game and it was during like the massive door hype train. So I played the living heck out of this game because I was just craving some more Doors content. It was before the Doors Hotel Plus update. So I was literally all over this game the day it came out. And I won't lie, me and my viewers had an like absolute blast exploring new rooms, finding out some new entities. It was just an all around amazing time. And for a while, me and my viewers would play this every single day, have a lot of fun, and just some genuinely good content came out of this game. But sadly, like anything in life, nothing good lasts forever. And a few weeks after playing this game, it got old quite fast. It wasn't because how hard the game was, or it wasn't how different the monsters were. Those were all great elements. There was one major flaw that completely ruined the fun for me and my entire community. Well, I guess I wouldn't say one. It was multiple. I can't even pick up this. Oh my, please, please let me pick this up. Is it, wait, is it not even letting me pick this up? It let me pick up the bandages, but for whatever reason, it's not letting me pick up the flash. I already had a flashlight. That is really embarrassing. I just had to press F. I'm, I'm an idiot. <sighs> In Endless Doors, as you can probably guess, it's endless, right? The map goes on literally forever and it continuously generates. But sometimes that generation can actually be your worst enemy. In previous versions of Endless Doors, sometimes the generation can actually glitch and softlock you, basically by not providing you an exit door. And that was hands down one of the most infuriating thing about Endless Doors. So I would be streaming this game, right? Playing with viewers, having a blast, and we would make it super far. But then we just get soft locked within a room that we can't escape and it basically just feels like really like lackluster and it's just like a terrible way to end around not because you lost it's just because the game just broke so it really made us feel defeated as a player and didn't really make us want to play anymore i didn't have confidence that the game would work properly and that disappointment really ruined my whole vibe for this game everything else was basically amazing for this game it was really trying to push the boundaries of roblox and i think <laughs> Holy lordy, it's the demons are here. The demons are back, boys. The demons are back. Is it safe to go in here now? Are we good? Are we good? Okay, I think we're good now. <laughs> Endless Doors was far from a perfect game. The graphics are a lot more subpar than Doors. The gameplay is a little scuffed, and it's just not as polished as Doors. But Endless Doors did have some creative ideas, and it was fairly executed pretty well. It was not perfect, but it was an enjoyable experience for the most part, regardless of all the bugs. But sadly, I think that one bug of soft locking players kinda killed the whole game. It's why me and many other players have stomped playing the game. I'm fairly certain that bug has been fixed, but the damage it did for the community is still here and the stigma around the whole game is still prevalent within the community. I'm still hesitant to put time into this game because I just don't want to get messed over. I won't lie, I haven't played this game in months, but playing it now, it seems like a lot more polished than it used to be. And I think it might be like 
time for me to give it a second chance. And I'll probably begin streaming this game again. And I'm really hoping we don't get that soft lock issue again. Will Endless Doors ever make a comeback within the community? No, most likely not. Unless Doors as itself, if like chapter two releases and makes like a massive comeback and Endless Doors tries to like capitalize on that, then maybe, just maybe, Endless Doors can finally reclaim its title as the best door clone on the platform. Oh, shit, is that Mulcher? Mulcher! Woo! That's basically a rush in this game. Endless Doors is the best door clone games hands down. But if you disagree, let me know down in the comments. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Watch this next.